Hey guys, so I wanted to come back before I stretch my hair. You guys know I usually stretch my hair for my wash and goes. So I wanted to come back while, well, before I stretch my hair so you guys can see. And I don't know if you can tell, I don't know if you can tell the difference between the two sides. This side, I used the Tight Curl Hydrating Jelly Frizz Control Gel. And I used the Soft Curl Defining Jelly Frizz Control Gel on this side. So you guys could tell me if you see a difference. To me, they both shrunk up almost the same and shrinkage usually means that I'm getting really great definition. Um, so yeah, uh, to me, it looks the same like when I look at it. But I will go ahead, stretch my hair and I will be back. I should mention to you guys before I go, it's only been an hour. I just went ahead and did my makeup and my hair already feels like on this side where I did it first, it's like 85, 90% dry, which is really amazing because my hair was soaking wet. So it dries really amazing. So yeah, I'll be back. Hey guys. So I am back. I just finished stretching my hair as you guys could see. It obviously looks a lot fuller, a lot more voluminous. Can you even tell the difference? I am struggling to find the difference to be honest. Um, they both look as voluminous. I can't really like you would expect that the lighter gel, the soft curl would have given me if not less definition than less or more volume, less definition. This side looks as voluminous, I think. Um, similar definition. I do think though that the types of curls that I got, like it gave me those small coils as opposed to if I use a thicker gel, like see Eco Style or Wet Line, it gives me more clumped curls. These gels defined my individual coils instead of clumping my coils together to make bigger curls, if that makes any sense at all. So I've gotten a lot more definition, but in smaller coils, which is equally as beautiful as bigger curls. So I'm also trying to film this in the middle of the day and it is hot as hell. <laughs> so excuse me if you see me sweating a bit. So let's talk about the cleansing cream, the wash and love cleansing cream. This thing is, it has such an interesting feel to it. Uh, when I first put it on my hair, it legit felt like a deep conditioner. It smells amazing, by the way. Kind of like baby powder mixed with something else that I can't quite put my finger on, but it smells really good. Um, but yeah, I, when I put this on my hair, the like initially it felt like a deep conditioner legit and I was wondering is this really going to cleanse my hair let me preface that by saying I am not one of those persons who traditionally believes in co-washes like I always thought it was one of those things where it's like like either use a shampoo or conditioner like make up your mind why do you need like a combination of both but um so I've previously at least not that I can recall I've never really been too big on co-washes i just feel like if you would want to cleanse your hair use a shampoo if you want to condition your hair use a conditioner if you want like a more gentle cleanse then use a gentle shampoo <laughs> and when i stepped into the shower like it was really easy to like run my hands through my hair even out of the shower and that felt really amazing it had a lot of slip when I went into the shower and I like I run the water on my hair, it had the most interesting feel ever because the product itself started to suds up like a shampoo traditionally would while you were rinsing it out. So you got more of a suds and a lather when water hit it. And that is when my hair felt clean. It was such an interesting experience. I've never felt anything like that before. But as you guys would see, that this cleansing cream got my hair and my scalp so clean and you guys if you follow me on instagram over the last week you know that i've been battling a seborrheic dermatitis flare-up and you are seeing how my scalp is looking it is 
absolutely clean and clear. So yeah, these products are available internationally. It is actually founded in the Dominican Republic, which is pretty cool. Um, but the price locally is 90 TC. I will put all of the information down below so you guys could get your hands on it. You could see where you could find them. All of that good stuff will be down in the description box below. So yeah, let's move on. We have next the Soft Curl Defining Jelly Frizz Control Gel, and this has aloe vera and olive oil. This product, the both of them, to be honest, but let's talk about this one first. It has a very tacky consistency, almost like, um, Girl us not gel or like if you've ever used the Camille Rose gels it has that kind of sticky kind of tacky texture but it's smooths onto the hair really nicely as you guys know I do my wash and goes on soaking wet hair so that in itself allows the product to like really glide through your hair way easier and it allows the product to coat your strands even more so and give you greater definition so I actually really love this so looking at the ingredients, this also has glycerin in it. And you guys know I have a love-hate relationship with glycerin. Um, and that may also affect the longevity of this wash and go. Um, as of right now, it's looking pretty good. I feel like I could get a solid two days out of it. And then maybe put it up in like a puff and do all of that other stuff. And then wash my hair midweek kind of thing. It's not something that I can see myself getting an entire straight week of wearing my hair down type wash and go. I don't feel like it gives me that, but it definitely looks really, really good. I am very impressed. Also, when I touch my hair, my hair is 100% dry right at this point. When I touch my hair, I still get that kind of glycerin feel. You guys know the residue, like kind of feeling you get when a product has glycerin in it. Um, glycerin is the third ingredient, so it's pretty high up on the list. So while it has given me really great definition, maybe on my Instagram I would probably show like the progression of the style throughout the week, but for right now it's looking really good. I will let you guys know as the days go along what that looks like. If you head across to my Instagram, you could follow me across there at Naturally Nishi. So this retails for 120 TT dollars and do you get 10 fluid ounces? So we have the Tight Curl Hydrating Jelly Frizz Control Gel. This has flaxseed and shea butter in it. Glycerin is also the third ingredient in this as well. And I definitely told you guys I could feel that on my hands as I touch my hair. This gel was a lot more tacky than the other one. It had more of like an Elmo's glue kind of feel. It smells really good as well. Like I love the scent of all of these products. I can't really determine what fragrance it is but it smells really good and it's not overpowering at all it's like a subtle kind of powdery kind of floral smell i really like it um so yeah so after i came out of the shower you guys would have seen my hair with some product on it that was the afro love curling puree i did a review on this previously on my channel maybe like a year ago so if you guys would like to take in that review of some of their um, older products then you could definitely click the link up above or down in the description box I will put that review video for you guys. So in all I would give these newer products from this collection a 8 out of 10 but the cleansing cream was really good it felt really good on my hair it definitely cleansed my hair which is what it's supposed to do and these two gels to me they're they worked really similar in my hair like I really honestly can't tell the difference and I parted my hair straight down the middle so I, I honestly cannot tell the difference and yeah that's amazing to me so they both kind of work similarly in my hair um, I do think that these gels are more for like finer textured hair um, I'm not sure how well it would work for like kinkier textures I do have fine higher porosity hair so bear that in mind when you're considering purchasing these but i definitely think i could get a bomb twist out like if i could get a really nice wash and go i'm pretty sure i could get a bomb twist out using these as well if you guys would like to see that then comment down below and i will definitely be sure to do that for you guys again all of the information on how to find afro love how to find their products which also retail at curls in and they have delivery especially if you don't want to go out 
who wants to go out in this time, right? We have like a bunch more cases, active cases in Trinidad. So you guys stay safe, shop online if you really need to shop, limit your exposure. So I will put the links for Afro Love, Curls In, all of that good stuff down in the description box, the price, everything you need to know. But yeah, I definitely do love these products. They have not disappointed me and you'll definitely see them on my channel again. So if you guys have ever tried any of the Afro Love products, you can let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if you are interested in trying them, comment below as well. I'd really love to hear what you guys think of the brand, of the line, if you've ever used any of their products before. But yeah, so if you've gotten this far and you're not yet subscribed to my channel, sis or sir, what are you doing with your life? You should definitely hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you never ever miss future uploads from me. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the very next video. Keep safe, guys. Bye. I just wanted to come back really quickly and see that I was... I went ahead and I was taking some pictures just for Instagram and as you guys could see my hair is already starting to shrink back up and that is definitely due to the glycerin it is drawing moisture to my hair which is causing it to shrink back up I legit just stretched it like half an hour ago <laughs> and it's already starting to like retreat up to my scalp so that is another thing to be mindful of if you do purchase these gels either of them they will give you really great definition but the high concentration of glycerin is definitely something to look out for something just to be mindful of but that's it it's not a deal breaker i still personally really love them they have really great definition and i can't wait to use them to do other styles so later guys <laughs>